love that I set up these lights back here in the backyard. It probably looks a little like uh, I'm out here burying some bodies or something. So this weekend I'm going down to film the Ozark Trail 100. I'm pretty excited about it. And uh, I'm gonna try to up my cameraman game a little bit here. I gotta start getting everything together and uh, putting it in place. I got a lot of things I gotta get done. I gotta get all the cameras charged up. I'm gonna try to do this as a four camera shoot. So I'm gonna take the Rebel. I'm gonna take the Canon G7X. I'm gonna take my GoPro and I'll take the drone. I'll probably shoot a few things on my phone too, so that'll probably be actually be technically five. I gotta figure out how to get everything into the sling and uh, be most efficient. Since this camera lens is rebuilt by me, it doesn't travel real well in the bag, so I gotta be real careful about that, because if it gets bumped, those lens things don't open and close um, real well. And uh, I'm trying to study the map for the Ozark Trail and make sure that I really lay out what I'm gonna shoot when, based on the times and the lighting out there. I also need to look at some tutorials on how to better use my Garmin InReach. It was helpful when Scott and I went down there, but I don't think I used it to its full capacity. And as I'm gonna be going to some pretty rural aid stations and not have cell coverage, I wanna make sure it's up and running and I know what I'm doing. I suppose I ought to check the weather and see how many layers I'm going to need. But uh, it's a little like what Jeremiah says when you're adding alcohol to a drink. You pour in what you think you need and then you add a little bit more. So I'll pack how many of her layers I think I need and then I'll add a few more. While I don't suspect I'll use my chair that often during this weekend, I'm definitely going to keep it in here. So I'm getting all the batteries charged up. One issue, <laughs> still got to take these pumpkins and uh, chuck them. But uh, how to film in the dark? I haven't quite figured that out yet. Maybe throwing these out in the dark might give me some good practice. I did try last night. I went for a run out at Hodge Park and I tried using just my headlamp and a flashlight and that failed miserably. It was just darkness. Darkness! My pantry box got a little uh, disorganized on the last trip. It's, we packed up fairly quickly because, you know, it was a little cold. It always gets a little disorganized anyway. This will definitely be a mushroom risotto trip. Mm, so good. It probably looks a little like uh, I'm out here burying some bodies or something. It, uh, that'd be kind of a good prank to play sometime is to get a body shaped bag, dig a big hole in your backyard and lay through the night with lights on and then just come out here and sling it in and then bury it back up.